Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebalski. Well, game two of this matchup is set to go down tonight. Really looking forward to this one tonight. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. Morgan's got the puck. Quick shot. Makes the save, but barely with that one. Across the line along the left wall. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Still no score in this one. Toledo's got it, and they're on the attack. And that's broken up. Looks to set up at the point now. And that's knocked away by Sintazzo. The Wings gain possession. Toledo's got it now. Rips it and rips it. And that goes off a player. Inside the offensive zone. A smart heads up play to put that one away. Big hit and that frees up possession. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. Launches him into the boards. You want to send a message to your opponent early in the game, and that early delivery of a bone-crushing hit, that does just that. Can hang on to the puck after taking it off. From off the wall and onto a stick. Shot! That's a touchdown save by Lemieux. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. On the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Taken down, and the officials caught it. Here comes the sentence. The Wings have been handed a two-minute penalty for tripping. Toledo's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight first power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. Oh, it's a fail on that clearing attempt as it's kicked in. That well, won't keep you on the PK, that's for sure, James. The coach wants that puck out and it's on your stick. you got to make sure that it goes 200 feet down the ice. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. Power play set to roll on as the setters get ready for the faceoff. Toledo's won the drop, they'll go to work. Oh, and he just puts it wide in the net. There's so many moving parts in the game of hockey, which is why it's one of the most difficult sports in the world. And he gets to that prime time scoring area. You don't get that too often, and he just sails it. He misses the net. Morrison's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. The Wings get a hold of the puck in their own end. Nice job to escape the zone. Off the left wing and into center. Man advantages up, both teams got demon strength. Well, this power play unit will not be happy. Not only didn't they execute, but they had a difficult time making even Chris passes and attacking seams. They gotta be better. Quick feed to Pilo. He carries the puck up along the wing. Easy save by Lemieux. Kalamazoo's got a hold of the puck. Sends it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Let's get the call. Bradford's called for tripping. He's off to the box. Another special teams opportunity for both sides. The man advantage unit is back to work again. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all find a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. And that's poked away by Morgan. Gets it out of his own end. 
Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Into the offensive zone, down the right wing. And he takes the feed. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. McDonald's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Nice job tying up his opponent. The lane was plugged up and that shot's blocked. The Walleye have the puck against the boards. And that one doesn't go. I thought that would have been the first goal of the game right there. And that's why it's such a tough miss. I mean, you really want to set the tone in a game and you always want to strike first. Takes a shot. Tried to put it in the side and missed. Well, there's a recognition that he didn't have much room. Gets a little bit fine and just misses wide. Keenan's not going to like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. Our first opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work. First power play of the game and an opportunity to go up by one. And analytics will tell you, when you start first, Chances are you win the game. Denies him. He got all of it. Toledo's penalty killers get a hold of it. And they get the puck out. The wings played along the boards. We're swimming close. Oh, a clutch save. They're going to swarm a piece out here with this pressure. And they finally get it out, much to the relief of every defender out there. Wow. Kalamazoo's got the puck at the defensive end. Keenan standing up, ready to go. Gives them nothing in front. Reaction time is everything when you're a goaltender, and that's what you see from a young age, them working on all of those different drills to help them with these kinds of saves. Just flash the leather and make the save. What a glove hand. Sagens won the draw here, and they'll go on the attack. Denies him in front. Picked up along the boards by Sancha. Through the neutral zone, up along the wing. The wings look to start the transition game. Along the right wall, and into the offensive end. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Directed over to Craigs. With the puck inside the defensive zone. Tanomi's taking it from his own end. And now it's to Craig's. Takes the feed. And that's hooked away. Toledo's got control of it now here at the offensive end. Turned aside with a glove by Lemieux. The wings take it across the line. The walleye have gained control of the puck along the wall. Gaining momentum along the wing. Grabbed along the board by Prepovesis. Looking to make something happen along the board. Scores! And the rookie gets his first playoff goal! Well, it's so important to manage the expectation and the nerves when you're a rookie, and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Well, James, let's have a look at this goal again. I mean, it's just a desperation play as he's stumbling and just stays on his feet long enough to be able to get his stick on that puck and make a glorious pass to a player who's able to finish it. Listen, you got to out-battle, you got to out-will, and that's just pure strength to be able to stay on your feet. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we got a 1-0 game to this point. They gain possession here inside the neutral zone. The Walleye have gained possession off the wall. Here's a short pass to Santazzo. Toledo's in on the offensive attack now. Puck jumped in, and the forwards are going to skate off. Taylor's determination on the puck, even though he stumbled and has a lack of balance, really shows right there, James, as he finds a way to get that pass through to the shooter. They go on the attack through center. Toledo's going to play it from the corner. Slides the puck down low. <laughs> Time to get a clean sheet of ice here as period number one comes to an end. As you heard the horn sound, we'll be back with much, much more as this is going to be a fun one tonight.
Pressure on here offensively, and they lead in the second. Keenan's won the draw, and they'll look to set up. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. Redikoff's taking the puck behind his net. Kalamazoo's got it against the boards. Shot! Turned aside with the glove by Bednar. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Lots of time left in this period. Toledo's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. And a solid job tying up his opponent. From the open ice, they gain the line. Moves it quickly over to Keenan. And that's blocked. Taylor's got the puck in his own zone. Can't maintain possession after that hit. Toledo's got a hold of it against the wall. Here's a shot. Just gets a piece of it to keep it out. Wow. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities, and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Toledo's got the decided edge in the shot department here tonight in the second period, and they continue to lead. Kalamazoo's won the draw. The Wings have it now. They fight for it along the boards. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. And he's knocked off the puck there. And he takes the pass. Slides the puck over. Beautiful glove stop on that one. What a save from point blank range. I mean, he's in fabulous position. Square to the shooter in the slot, and he makes the glove hand save. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Toledo's got some breathing room as they lead it 2-0. Puck scooped up by McCourt. Across the line. Fires it! And that goes off course wide. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. The Walleye have possession along the boards. Gains the zone on the left wing. Bonomi's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, gets a piece of it with the glove. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Makes a move in front. Picked up along the wall by Morgan. And it's turned aside by Bednar. There's the whistle. who will get a face-off after all that chaos. Well, and this is a much-needed reset for his team after some sustained ozone pressure by the opponent. Moments away from the face-off. Let's get back to the action. 
Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Moves it to Sajin. Turns it away. Well, that shot came quick and it was right out front. He had to be sharp. He'd be right on it and show his brilliant reflexes. Works it across to Morgan. Looking to make something happen at center. Fires it on that. Gets a club at it to make the save. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Past the halfway mark of this period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. Quick pass to Prophebesis. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Oh, what a hit on the wall! And that's a clean one, James. A great angle, shoulder to shoulder, and just laid it on thick. the draw here in the defensive zone. The Wings will play it in their own end. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Here's a chance. Stopped by the goaltender. different beast it's not regular season anymore you want to be an impact player you want to make a difference and he does tonight Kalamazoo's look way more engaged since the start of this period Cheryl and now they're starting to get some of the rewards well you can certainly feel the energy there's two trains of thought here there's a the physical side and there's the emotional side of the game both are connected to them right now it down low, and he slides it quickly to Sorensen. Oh, fantastic stop here! Bednar has been outstanding tonight, James. I mean, he's made the saves he's had to and really given his team an opportunity to win. You can't ask for more than that. Here's a chance, and that goes off a body. The Wings will play it from the defensive zone. Moves the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Just enough to keep it out of the net. The goaltender's at the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Some tassels got it into offensive territory. Here's a shot. Oh, and it just stays out as he gets a piece of it with the glove. Kalamazoo's got it in the wrong zone. Great reach with the poke check. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. He was totally locked in on that play. Denies him again. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Quick feed to Morrison. Just slide. The Wings have it in the offensive zone. And he turned that aside as we continue play here. Kalamazoo's got the puck. You can really sense the nervous energy here from the home fans here. time trying to create scoring chances and when you do you gotta find the back of the net at the very least hit it james and the one out of the 47 seconds to go here and he's gonna pounce on it for the whistle and get a stoppage and play it much needed at that i can't overstate how timely important that this cover is james when you're on your heels and you're chasing the game you need a reset button goaltender allows it to happen Draw inside the offensive zone. Kalamazoo's got the puck against the boards. Stones him in front. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. The Wings have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. Toledo's got the win off that draw. the 
buzzer, two periods down, one more to go. They always say three is the magic number. We've got period number three next. Initiative is simply by donation, with all proceeds going to local charities. are lined up and they are ready to get this third period underway. All right, the puck is dropped on the third and final frame. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? Kalamazoo's got to have a fresh start in this third period, James. They haven't been urgent and they've been chasing the entire game and I could tell that right from puck drop in the first period. They weren't urgent off of the face. Scores! And look at that! The rookie gets hit on the play Talk about embracing the nervous energy. Now he can take a breath, feel good about himself, and let the creativity flow. That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly because you know there are defenders all in around you that are going to come and close. Toledo's taking a two-goal lead now to start period number three. Well, it looks like the leadership group had something to say between periods because they have another gear here. They've come out with a sense of urgency and created a ton of energy. Battle along the wall. And the puck departs the zone. And that plays offside. We got a face-off coming up. Lots of time left in this period. Toledo's really controlled the pace of play these last few minutes, leading by two. Some tassels won the draw here in the neutral zone. Referee's hand shoots high in the air. Looks like we got a tripping penalty coming up. Here's a short pass to Morgan. Here we go. Goaltenders at the bench. They've got the extra attacker out with the delayed penalty. The Walleye have put themselves shorthanded, tripping the call. unit out once more. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Rips it. Big time save. Oh, he is looking good in there tonight. Morrison's looking to win this draw, this man advantage here. Off the draw, they take possession. Good use of the body on the play. Deep inside the defensive zone, trying to clear the puck. Gets it out of his own end. And now he moves it quickly to Adams. And he takes the feed. Denies him in close. Well, that's a great save, but the goaltender had to get out to the top of his crease, take away all the ice and make himself as big as possible. Too much congestion in front. What a save by Pekka. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. And there's a little physicality. That's picked up by the D. And they'll end all that pressure as they clear the zone. Big time collision, and look at that. He landed right on his own bench. Wow. Give him. I mean, the pressure and the stakes are high, and he delivers. 
Well, the shooter does a great job of recognizing how much room is available in the net, but it's all about the goaltender. He drops to that butterfly position and isn't able to get his glove hand up quick enough. Toledo's playing almost like they want a day off here tomorrow, Cheryl. Yeah, I'd say so, and you always look forward to a day off, and this coaching staff has got to be impressed with this team tonight. You know, the ability to get the puck to net, driving the pace of play, and just having really great habits, consistent effort right through the game. The Wings played along the wing. Slip feed. have been the busier team in the offensive zone, but they still trail in the third. And with the centers tied up, he swoops in to take possession. Scores! His first of the playoffs, and the rookie gets it done! Well, every athlete wants to establish themselves as a playoff performer, while the rookie, an impressive start to leaving a lasting impression. Well, he's in tight to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. Kalamazoo's got one back, but Cheryl, they need more. They need more, and they're going to have to pay the price to get to the paint, the most coveted spot on the ice, fight through traffic, and find a way to get the puck to the net. The Wings grab possession of the puck. Moves it quickly over to Redekop. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Bittner's got it, and the officials blow the play dead. Well, and this is a smart play. He's been dialed in all night and recognizes that he doesn't want his team to make any mistakes. The safe play sometimes is to hold on. Sawchuk's won the draw here in the defensive zone. Toledo's moving it up the ice. Toss up the puck after that hit. Pass across to Sajin. Loses his balance on the play. McCourt stick handling in his own zone. Dumps the puck in. Kalamazoo's got a hold of the puck now. Moves the puck to Morgan. Moves it to McDonald. Kalamazoo's on the attack. Denies him on the play. Redekop's moving the puck through his own zone. And they keep the pressure on. Handles the pass. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And that one's turned aside. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. Quick pass to McDonald. With the stop. Takes it along the wall by Redekop. They are swimming around like bees here in the Ozone. Toledo's gained the line and into the zone. And the puck dies with the trapper save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Wings have had more chances offensively, but they have not been able to convert trailing here in this third. Sintasso's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. Reaches out and uses the stick. Made that stop. Adams picking up steam. They move the puck around to wait for the right time to be able to move that puck for the one-timer in that low slot area. He didn't have much time to get it off, but he got some wood on it and buried it. Kalamazoo's got one back here in the third. Now can they find another, Cheryl? You need to find another gear. When you're pressing and you have your opponent on your heels, you have to try and find a way to bury them and build, and that's what they got to do right off the hop here on this face-off. The wings scoop it up along the boards. Slides it quickly to Adams. And the puck's kicked free. And that slides right out to center ice. Gets in front of it. 
Bednar's got the puck and hangs on for a whistle here in this third period. Well, he's been outstanding all game, James. He's the reason why his team is leading in this one and elects with a good decision to get the face off. Here in the back half of this period, Kalamazoo's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. When you're down a goal, you can't generate any offense if you're short-handed. They're going to have to be opportunistic, find a way to kill it off, and then reset the momentum. They'll go back to work on their special teams. Power plays more time on the ice, the ability to get that puck moving. These players know exactly what they're doing. They work on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame. Score! and the nerves when you're a rookie and that goal is going to do nothing but give him confidence. Power play face off that leads to possession that is just a dagger. A quick shot and a goal buries it. The walleye have to be able to see the finish line now. Up by two at this stage of the game, Cheryl. I like their position. Yeah, you gotta like their position. I mean, it's the back half of the third period. You have the cushion you wanted. You drew it up at the beginning of the game. This is exactly how you would have wanted it, but you have to close it out. So good defensive posture, but most importantly, you have to find a way to still drive pace. Tries to get it over to Morgan. The walleye have taken possession along the wall. Stopped with the blocker by the coming up as the play's blown dead. McGrath's off to the box. Two minutes for tripping. The Wings once again send out their power play unit. Chucks want it in their own end. The Wings have it in the offensive end. Poked away by Baraldo. Taken by Taylor. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. As a goaltender, you have to be able to read and anticipate the play. He does it perfectly and is able to negate the shot. Taylor's got it against the boards. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Takes the pass. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Lemieux's going to hang on to the puck for a whistle. Kalamazoo's been very active offensively tonight, but they just have not been able to finish on their scoring chances here late in the third. The Wings win the draw. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Takes a shot! Hitler's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Here in the late goings of the period, Toledo's got all sorts of content for the highlight shows tonight. They lead it 5-3. Good defensive effort to poke it away. And he's pulled over to the ice and loses the puck. Takes the feed from the left side. Toledo's got control of it now from their own end. And the puck spoonered away. Grabs it in his own end. Trailing in this one. They have pulled the goalie and the extra attackers out. Broken up in the neutral zone. They score! Yeah, and this one will all but seal the deal. James, a real insurance marker. And a game well fought and a win well earned. As that empty net goal went in, everyone on the bench and on the ice knew that that put the game to bed. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. The Wings win the face-off. Kalamazoo's looking to break out. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. And a good heads-up defensive play in the open ice. Final seconds of this one, and the home fans certainly appreciate that they got their money's worth tonight. McDonald 
Reynolds won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. And he makes the save on that play. Quick feed to LaPorte. Takes the feed. One team jumps out to the early 1-0 lead. There was the counter punch that we expected tonight to even the series, show. Uh, I think we're getting a little bit of a snapshot as to what this series is going to look like, James. And, you know, you get down one, and you know that you've got to claw your way back in. you got to split, because if you go down two, that's way too much momentum and runway for your opponent. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from Rickside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Sabelski. i got to get to bed. See you.